Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert. And today's video, we're going to be showing you how to auto create podcasts. So what you're seeing on the screen here is a module from my course. So if you haven't signed up to the course yet, please do. It's very good. It's the marketing automation course. It basically tells you how to design workflows. And one of those workflows is this. Essentially, this workflow it looks at the most popular blog content on our page. So this is blog content, which is both created by AI as well as created by ourselves. And it just says, basically, if we're going to be doing a week's worth of social media, we're going to base it all on that popular blog content post. So essentially, what it will do is it will ask Google Analytics for the most the blog page with the most sessions or the most page views or the most conversions. Depends on the metric you want to choose. Then it will create some short form content. So it will create text for just text only posts on something like LinkedIn or Twitter. It will create long form content for something like uh, Reddit or a long form version on Twitter or, or LinkedIn. It will create a, a photo with a photo caption um, and copy. It will create another photo with a photo caption and copy so that you have uh, two, two photo media assets and also a video asset as well. So it will create a video based on your blog with copy, post that onto Airtable for you to review and approve and then it automatically goes on to, to, to your social media. Now, I'm not gonna run you through how to build this whole thing. For that, uh, you'll have to get my course. Uh, but I'll show you how you would adjust this to include podcasts. So if you have a weekly podcast coming out, or even a daily podcast or whatever, you can still use this uh, content, the central content vault, in order to build that out. So what we will do is start by adding in a uh, ChatGPT prompt. So this will create a script for our blog content. So we'll do create a completion, We'll select the model as turbo, because why not? The role is user, and the message will be here is a URL for my blog. And we'll say this is the URL. Uh, turn this into a um, podcast script of, let's say, two, no, 200 words. Uh, again, you, your prompt will be very specific to your business needs, your podcast needs, uh, you know, the voice of your brand, um, the length of it, the subject you wanna cover, who you are as an expert. I'm gonna keep this simple so that you're not watching me write a prompt for 20 minutes. So I'll say, turn this into a podcast script of 200 words. Uh, remember, you are a marketing automation expert and the people listening to this podcast just want a quick dose of important news. Okay, uh, this podcast, because we're using um, a robot, it's only gonna be one person speaking. So we'll say, this is a monologue. So no need for characters or voice instructions. I just want text to read out. Okay, and I think this is coming off the bottom of my screen now, so I'll just expand it. And then I'll also add in, don't, Use quotation marks. All right, so long time viewers of my videos will know I always add don't use quotation marks to pretty much all of my GPT prompts. One of the reasons is it's very annoying when you have a title for something, for example. But also, if you're gonna be using the output of the chat GPT in a later API call, it's gonna mess everything up because if you have any knowledge of API calls, you have a, a field which will have quotation marks around it and then a value which will have quotation marks around it. So within that field of value, if there's extra quotation marks, it will break the API call. So don't use quotation marks. Okay, so we'll run this using a blog from Google just to check it out. So we'll do uh, right click, run this module only, add in the URL, post it, And now we have our results. We can check the choices, we can check the message. Did my prompt work out? Do I need to come back to it? Hey, welcome to the Daily Tech Update where we keep you updated, uh, looped into the latest and greatest in digital world, something about Google Circle. So again, if you wanted to come back into this, you would say the name of my podcast is whatever. My, my name is, uh, my name of the podcast is this. My company name is this. Please make sure to include it. I'm not doing any of this because again, I don't want this to be perfect. So I just need to get <laughs> enough of it done to show you how the theory behind it works. So you have the podcast message now. So now we want uh, a title. So we're going to open AI. We'll do create a completion and we'll say model, chat GPT-4, message, user. Here is a podcast transcript. Please write me a title and summary based on this 
I just need, uh, and then we'll say separate the title and summary with dash dash dash. Don't use quotation marks. All right, so I'll press OK. Here is a podcast transcript. I forgot to add in my dynamic field. So this will be choices, message, content. I press OK. All right, so I'll copy the output of here. Control C, and I'll do it here. Run this module only. Content, Control V, press OK. And now we have a title and we have a summary. Um, and I'll just update this to say, separate the title summary with a new paragraph and dot, dot, dot. Okay, so again, I'll just run this module only very quickly so that uh, I make sure it works. Because the reason for that is I don't wanna have to run um, chat GPT uh, modules to do the same thing. If I can just use one and separate the output with a dash, 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 then I can use a text parser to separate them and save myself some chat GPT credits. So yeah, perfect. So now I wanna separate those two outputs. So I'm going to use a text parser module, which I already have earlier on. And what this does is it separates what comes before a dash, dash, dash with what comes after a dash, dash, dash. So if I put in my message content here, I'll copy this message content now and I will run it through here, run this module only, add item, content, control V, press OK. We have two outputs, which is exactly what I wanted. So now I have a title, I have a summary, and again, you can see I could update the prompt in the summary to be less words. I'd say maybe only 10 words, 15 words, whatever. And I have a podcast script as well. So now we have the title and the summary. The next step is to um, create uh, speech to te uh, text to speech. So there's one app for this called Eden AI. They have uh, something here where you can uh, convert text into speech. And I really like Eden AI because you can choose who your provider is. You can have OpenAI, you can have Eleven Labs, Microsoft, IBM, Google, AWS. Uh, you can use these people directly. So for example, you can use Google directly. You can use Eleven Labs directly. They all have modules. Um, if you have another provider with an API, simply make a HTTP call. Uh, for the purposes of uh, this video, I'm gonna keep it as OpenAI uh, for two reasons. One of them is that I don't want to fatigue you with uh, thousands of different tools and licenses in the same, um, same workflow. And the other one is because I, I like, there's one function of generating an AI here, if I come to advanced settings, which is that you can change the file name output. So we have a title for it already. So if I come to the text file and I want to encode URL, okay? And then I add in here the text file name. It will make this as to, for example, exploring dash the dash magic of dash Google circle. So it's just a, it's just, it's just a nice way. So instead of getting just a random file name output wherever I upload it, it's consistent in all forms. It's consistent in what you see on the page. It's consistent in what you might see in the file. Very good. In terms of the input, it is the first open AI module we have here, content. The model, uh, let's just pick the most advanced one. Alloy voice, sure, why not? And um, we'll press OK. All right, uh, I'll run this module only. Uh, what is my tech? What is, what am I putting in here for the output file name? Output file name is, this is a test. And the choices is going to be, hey, this is my attempt to write on an Estonian keyboard as quickly as possible, even though nothing is where I want it to be. I am embarrassing myself in front of my audience. Press OK. For audio in a file, we have the output name. This is a test.m. I did encode URL. You could encode it however way you want. You could use another text parser to replace uh, these with, with dashes instead. It makes no difference to me. But the next step is basically to, to upload it. We have a title, we have a summary, now we have a file. So we're going to connect to SoundCloud just because they're free. And I don't want to spend a lot of money showing you guys how to make money. So I'll come to I'll come to SoundCloud and I will go to upload a new track. Um, are there any other options I might want? No, upload a new track looks good to me. We map it to the file generated in OpenAI. Okay, the description is going to be the summary, which is S2. I don't have a genre. I don't really care about the rest of this, but you might. So please fill it in. 
Is it streamable? Yes. Downloadable? Yes. License? No rights reserved. Or some rights reserved. Again, completely up to you. Commentable? Sure. Why not? Uh, I'll press OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. Uh, so I'm going to run this. But before I do, uh, there's a, a slight thing you need to know. So this is all triggered by information from Google Analytics data. Again, this is a module that I built in my course. So there's a very specific reason for this. Uh, what, what happens is every time we create content or every time AI creates content, it posts it automatically. And since we don't want to be doing a million LinkedIn posts, a million Instagram posts every week about random stuff, what it does is it picks the highest performing content from our page. And then based on that, it will create you know three LinkedIn posts, three long form posts, uh, one photo post, another photo post, a video post. And this way you've got a week's worth of varied content that's all different, uh, all on the same theme, all going back to the same CTA. So it makes sense. Um, but it does not make sense for me because this uses information from the blog. So I have here the page location contains blog. So uh, I can't remember if I've already shown you this, but basically uh, our Google Analytics for the last seven days, we're looking at page location and page title uh, with a location with the Lex location contains blog. So if you have a standard setup for your website where you have everything following a, a blog um, slash blog slash the rest of it, it will basically return the, the highest performing items. What are the highest performing items? We sort that by metrics, which in our case, for our example, was going to be sessions. But you can pick any metric you want to decide how you want to measure the popularity. Um, so the reason I'm telling you to bear this in mind is because my page does not have a blog. It will not find anything. I don't use my homepage. I do not direct any traffic to upfish.co. Everything is on YouTube, LinkedIn, and my Gumroad. So all you're going to see here when I run this is my homepage. And that homepage is then going to get turned into a blog post. It's going to look weird. But as far as you're concerned, the important thing is that the process works. So I've disabled these other routes. Okay. So this means that I won't be creating videos or photos. It's just going to create the podcast for this example. So I'm going to press run once. It's found the information it needs, which in my case is just the <laughs> just my homepage. Okay. It's now adding it into chat GPT to get a podcast based on my homepage, which should be funny to read. Okay, so we can see here it's already got a, uh, a script. Welcome to Upfish Marketing Minute, where we dive into the world of marketing automation. Uh, yeah, great. Really, really boring, but it worked. Again, you need to play with the prompts to tell it specifically use my company name or don't use my company name. This is my industry. Uh, but prompting is uh, the customizational part, which I can't do for you. It needs to be done by you. Uh, here we have a title, Personalized Marketing Automation, Enhancing customer engagement in the digital C. I like C because the name of my company is Upfish and OpenAI has managed to make that connection. Dive into the latest episode of Upfish Marketing Minute. Okay, it's giving me a title. So I've got the summary. Uh, here I've managed to separate the title with the summary. Here we've created an output audio file. Oh, and here it's gone wrong because bad request, user primary email address must be confirmed. I did not confirm my email address. Uh, that is my bad. So I've done it now. Let's run it again. And now I see here, my title is the encoded version. So I've made a mistake, but it's very easy to fix. We'll come back into SoundCloud here. And instead of clicking on file, we'll click on map and I'll change my title from what is uh, the, the output file name here just to the dollar sign one. So the original one without the information. Okay, so the next time this uploads, the title will be a real title and we'll have the description. Okay, so now I have an output, I have the ID the track, we have the ID, title, we have a URL, we have an avatar URL, we have a permalink. So I guess if I click on the permalink, we have the, the information here. So I'll press play. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our quick dose of marketing automation insights. Today we're diving into an essential strategy. And it's worked. All right. So what could you, so what, what, what is the, the takeaway from this? The takeaway is this, this is here how you would add a, a podcast to a podcast host, generate the file, generate the title and summary, generate the, the script, separate the title and summary. So you can put two inputs into one. So you can put two outputs into one input at the same time in SoundCloud. Uh, if you wanted to improve this, you would personalize the permalink. You would personalize the, the label name, release date, all of this extra stuff, artwork data. So you might want to grab a file from Dali to add into that data file there. We watched actually in the course, we create photos, we create hero images as well. So we could basically chain this onto one of those and ask it to input that same data picture file into SoundCloud. That's entirely up to you, but it is now done. So I really hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, this is how you create the podcast. This is part of uh, a wider strategy to create other pieces of content, which you're interested in. This is available on my course and I'll update the course shortly to include a module showing you in deeper detail how to do the podcast. All right, brilliant. Thank you for your time. Oh, also remember, like and subscribe. Information in the bio if you want to uh, buy products. And what else? What else do people normally say? They normally say, um, have a nice, have a nice, have a nice, have a nice time. I hope the next video you watch is at least as interesting, if not more interesting than the, this video. Okay, thank you.